In this video, we will talk how to deconvolute a collection of peaks into individual peaks. So let's open this one. Here I can see that this plot is a collection of five peaks and each of the peak corresponding to an individual entity. Sometime we want to calculate parameters of a given peak. So for that purpose, we will have to convolute this plot into its individual peaks. So let's select a plot and from here analysis, go to peaks and baseline and then multiple peak pet and then open dialog. Now is the dialog will open, it will show a box and here will be a menu that how I will do the fitting and that fitting let's say I select with Gaussian and I click OK. Now it will open a new menu and it will say double click to pick the peaks. So I will have to double click here in order to pick the peaks. And let's say means it's not necessary that the cursor is exactly on the peak. I can move it like this one as well and it will select the peak. I double click here and when the cursor is on this peak, I double click. And similarly, when it is here, I double click and another peak which is here, I double click here. This peak I also want to include, so I double click here as well. And similarly, at this point, so I am having a total of six peaks. And now I can fit them directly or I go to the open nonlinear fit in order to do some changes to it as well. And for that, I will have to use the same menu. The menu is we did for the fitting parameters. So it's almost the same thing. This is the formula for the Gaussian fit. And this is the sample curve, which is showing us different parameters. And here we are having the edit function menu and one iteration and iteration until converge. So I will have to move it a little bit this way and now we are having in this one, two, three, four, five, six peaks here and this one the olive color here is the cumulative peak. So it is a sum of all of them and it is actually our uh, data peak here that consists of six peaks here. So I do one iteration and the peaks will change another, another and so on. Or I can click here on the fit until converge and it will refine the fit and I click OK. Now I can see here that this menu will appear and this menu I can access directly from here. So I will delete this one. First discuss this one. That we are having for the first peak is the red color and this is the first peak. This peak is overlaid by this peak and similarly it's overlaid by this one as well and the collection of these three individual peaks gives us something like this. So if I'm interested in one peak like I want to calculate the parameters of this one I will take peak 3. And similarly, it will do a very good fit here. And finally, we are having the cumulative peak. We can find all the data here in the nonlinear fit, all the parameters for peak 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 here. That what is the offset, the center of it, the area of it, and the width of this one we are having all these parameters here and over here we are having their individual plots like this is the x variable the y variable for the peak one so this will only give peak one then peak two three four five six and if i want to have the cumulative peak then i will have this one so we are having the very good fit here I can plot the cumulative. I can plot means I can take this one and I copy this one. 
and I can go to my actual plot and then here I just paste that one and let me call this that this is the cumulative fit Let's see if it the cumulative fit and now I plot it and I can see that the fit is actually a very good one because we cannot do such a fit with any uh, function alone so it's a good fit and we can go on with this similarly sometime the peaks are not very clear for example in this one and this one is we see there is one peak another and another and this is another peak and similarly here a very faint peak there as well now this is the dosimeter response for a dosimeter response we should have the very broad peak of the dosimeter from which we can do the calculation for the absorbed radiations and when the peak is like this we cannot do any calculation we cannot decide which of the peak is the dosimetric peak so let's start with the select this one and do its deconvolution and go to multiple peak pet and open dialog and here i select the gaussian and i click ok now the non-linear pit menu is here and we are having the double click to pick the peaks so do the picking of the peaks so here and here we are having the peaks this peak almost seems faint but we will see in a while that this is very important one and similarly this one as well and now as we have picked the peaks so on five peaks we have and i will open the non-linear fit and here i do one iteration and another and then fit until converge and now i am having the peaks here and if i look at the peaks then first this one the fourth peak seem to be prominent peak here or the dosimetric peak here but after deconvoluting them into their individual peaks i find that this peak the third peak is the broad peak here and this is to be considered for the dosimetric analysis so we are having this benefit we deconvolute a given plot into its individual peaks and i click ok and here we are having all our peaks here i can do calculation from this one the data is available here all the data is here and similarly individually i can plot them i can take this one and can go to my actual plot and inside this actual plot let me add a column and here i just paste that one i select this one this is my cumulative fit so i plot it and i can see that i have a very good fit here and this i can utilize now the benefit another benefit of doing this thing is that we will we will have to for example if some of the data is missing then we can do a very good fit for the data as well for example let's say open this file and inside this file we will see that due to saturation we have lost this data and this data due to some machine error we have lost now how to recover this data individual fit with any function will not do the job but deconvoluting it into uh, individual peaks will do the job so i select the plot and go to analysis and then multiple peak pit and open dialog and here i select the gaussian fitting and i click ok now here i will 
pick the peaks so this is peak 1 2 and 3 and similarly here so this is the benefit of it that we we are not having any data here but we can yet select a peak location here and then here as well we are having one peak here but we don't know whether there is a peak or not and it seems like that it is touching here so we have picked five peaks and i will go to open non-linear fit and here i will click fit and then fit until converge and now i see yellow line actually the cumulative fit is giving me my final fit so this data i have but i don't have this data and i would like to reproduce this data from this cumulative fit but i can see here that the height of this is not good it, it is supposed to be up to here so what i can do i can put some restrictions here and for understanding the restrictions let's see that over here this is peak 1 data and this is peak 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 data the one that i'm interested in is peak 4 i want to increase its height so how i can do this because in the fitting equation the height is not given here this is the area of it and this is the width of it if i go to the sample curve then here i can see that height is not given by any parameter here so i will have to do some tricks and the tricks will be that if i reduce this width means if i reduce the w which is the full width that have maximum are closer to that value this is the width of it and the full width that have maximum is another subcategory in this one so if i increase the width of it then what will happen that this curve will expand and if i keep its area to be less then what will happen this curve will go a little up and this is the tactic that i can use here in order to stretch this peak a little bit up and let's see i go to peak 4 and inside peak 4 i say that to fix the area of this one and this is the width of it i will have to increase this one and at the moment it is just 1.39 so i will fix this one and i will fix this one as well now what i do at the first instant i just reduce this one like i reduce the full width that have maximum and i will increase the area of it so this is 1.30 and i do the iteration till end and i see that this one has raised a bit up and yet it is supposed to be moved a bit more so i can reduce this one more and let's say i do 1.25 and now i do iterations so it has raised more up here and now this is fine for me now this one would have compromised a little bit or this one or this one would have compromised so we will have to play with these parameters we will increase you now the area a little bit and this is 13 and i would like to move it to 13.2 for example and look here that how the plot will be have and you see that it has increased a little bit while adjusting these two sides as well so we can play with these parameters and now we can reproduce our data here so we will recover our missing data and the missing data is i copy this one the cumulative fit and i just paste it here and now i can write here cumulative fit and i can plot the two 
in here I see there is a little um, shift in the value so I will have to remove that shift means I will have to copy the X column as well for this one copy this and this and then go to the data here and here I make two columns and I just paste the data let me remove this one and make this one is our X column and this is our cumulative fit so now I do plot and I see now that I have reproduced the data here with the help of the cumulative put. So this way it is very easy to use the reconvolution technique to get some missing data in a very complex plot. Thank you for watching.